Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at using the Ken Burns effect in iMovie 09 to create special effects. So you might know the Ken Burns effect. It's when you drop a photo in iMovie to use as a slide and then it gradually pans and zooms that photo just ever so slightly to give it some motion. It's the default effect whenever you drop a photo in iMovie. So let's take a photo and move it into our iMovie project. Now you can take it by clicking on the photo button here and choosing from your collection in iPhoto or you could drag it from the finder. I'm going to drag one from the finder into the project area here. Now as soon as I do that I could see I've got it here in the preview area and if I scan along it I will be able to see a slight Ken Burns effect which is the default. So I'm going to actually move along and you can see it zooms in as I get further down. It's a, just a four second clip. If I select the image and click on the little crop button or press C, I can see I've got fit, crop, and Ken Burns options. Ken Burns is selected by default and I've got this green area and a red area. You can see that it's going to zoom from the green area into the red area and that's what determines what the effect actually looks like. It's also a little off-center. You can see it's going to move just slightly. So the Ken Burns effect is named after Ken Burns, a documentary filmmaker who uses us a lot in some of his classic documentaries such as the ones on baseball, jazz, and the Civil War. Now you can alter this effect in iMovie to make it more than just a basic Ken Burns effect. You can use it for other things. Let's take a look. So here I've dropped in a very vertical photo and the random Ken Burns effect that's been applied to it is a start and end that aren't too far apart from each other, basically zooming out a little bit. If I run it, I get this. But since this is a very vertical photo and it's an aerial shot, we can do something different with it. We can have a start at the bottom zoomed out as far as possible. I can grab the ends there and we can and zoomed in at a very sp specific spot further up. It'll kind of make it look like we're flying into the photo. Now one of the beautiful things about the Ken Burns effect is it allows you to take a still photo and narrate over it for a long period of time while still holding the viewer's interest even though they're just looking at one picture. So for instance we can be talking about this lighthouse and we can start at the bottom of it and zoom up. To set the duration of the effect, we select the clip in the project up here. Uh, we get the information on it. I just press I and we get the inspector and you have a duration right here. And you can change that so you can have it slow down and do it over 20 seconds. So let's say we want to get even more creative. Here I have a photo that I'm zooming in on one person. If I look at how I've set up the Ken Burns effect, I've centered the end frame here. Start frame starts all the way out in the entire thing. Now I select it in the project and I'm going to make two copies of it. Like that. So I have the same thing repeated three times. But I'm going to select the second copy, go to the cropping, and I'm going to change it. There's a little button here, it's kind of hidden under the crop mark that flips the start and end. Click on that and now the start is actually the close-in shot and then I'm going to switch to crop and that will take this start frame and just simply make it the static crop. It won't have a Ken Burns effect. So now when I look at what's going to happen it zooms in and then the next part just freezes basically on that same frame. Now the last part I'm going to just do a full switch and now the start is the end. So what I've got is it zooms in, freezes, and then zooms back out. And I can continue with say another one where it zooms in on another player. And I can do this for a while using one photo for several minutes of video with audio narration. So that shows you how you can take a simple cropping effect in iMovie 09 and do a lot more with it. It can really make a slideshow that only features a few photos a lot more interesting for a class or presentation. I'd like to see Apple take the Ken Burns effect even further in future versions of iMovie, maybe allowing you to zoom even further in the image or allowing you to have more than just a start and end point in the effect. 
Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.